Globally, we've seen a decline of a 16% in new HIV infections, but that really varies by region. And so while we see good success in eastern southern Africa, primarily driven by South Africa, we're not seeing that success in eastern Europe, central Asia. The western central Africa still doesn't see a steep decline in new infections. Um, what we're seeing there is people aren't necessarily getting onto treatment, and without getting onto treatment and without doing the behavior chain and all, all the other prevention activities, we're just not seeing a decline in new infections. So it's great to see that we're getting so many people on treatment globally, and so we're seeing about 23.3 uh, million people on treatment. But if you look at that, if you break that down and look at the number of children receiving treatment, it's still only about 50% of the children who are in need of treatment or living with HIV are getting treatment. One of the challenges with reaching children is if, if they've gotten through their, their infant and their toddler years, once they get to be over age five, say they're age eight or nine or ten, those children don't have much contact with the health care facilities unless they're not getting tested and they're not getting on treatment. And so we're not finding those kids that are slightly older that might have been infected from mother to child transmission.